Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In this short video lecture, I will guide you about how we can decide depth and width of the beam. If you are working on construction site, if you are studying and you don't know about size of beam, so watch this video till the end to know about depth and width of the beam, especially for residential building or commercial building. So I am giving you information from the reference of ACI, ACI, American Concrete Institute in the chapter of 318 into 14, okay? These are related information which I am discussing in this short video. First of all, guys, if you know about the length of the beam or the span between two columns, suppose this is a beam and these are supports these are two supports which means these are columns suppose the length between or the span between two columns is five meter so what should be the depth of beam guys you can see in this graph this is depth so what should be the depth of beam and what should be the width of beam if the span between two column is five meters so this is column and this one is other column these are supports so we have the formula from the reference of ACI American Concrete Institute the formula by which you can find the depth of B which is here L divided by 16 L means this is the length between two columns so L is here 5 meter so L divided by 16 so length is here 5 meter divided by 16 so when you do its calculation you will get the video 0.31 meter so this is the depth of beam so here the depth is required here 0.31 meter or you can say 310 millimeter but say normally 300 millimeter this is the depth of the beam okay by this formula you can find the depth of the beam if this is 6 meter so in the length right here 6 meter divided by 16 you can get any value that should be the depth of beam from the reference of aci the next the, the next one is width so how you can find the width so here guys let me write here width of beam so here depth d divided by 1.5 where d is depth of the beam so you can find the width of the beam from the depth of the beam divided by 1.5 so let me put the value here 0.31 meter divided by 1.5 so you will get the value here 0.20 meter so this is the width of the beam so you can say here that the width of the beam is required 0.20 meter or say 200 millimeter this is the width of the beam okay so guys uh, this is the uh, formula by which you can find depth and width of the beam but remember guys if you are going more than five meter if that is residential building or commercial building so don't use less than m20 grade concrete m20 grade concrete concrete ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 where one part is cement 1.5 parts are sand and three parts are aggregate okay so inside how many steel is required so in other video i will guide you but minimum used 12 millimeter die of steel rod but how many numbers you can use in tension zone also in completion zone so in next video i will guide you specially for this topic hope this short video can help you to know about depth and width of the beat uh, of the beam for commercial building or residential building thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye